Oh, hello. My name is Katy Berry. Let me tell you a story about my friend, Basil. Basil was having fun playing on the swings at the playground. Back and forth, back and forth. Look at me, Mom! Basil called to get his mom's attention. She was sitting next to another mom talking while the kids played. Mom smiled and waved at Basil as he jumped out of the swing and landed on his feet. He wasn't sure she really saw him jump before she went back to talking. Basil got back on the swing and decided to try again. There was a girl next to him swinging. She had been watching him jump out of the swing several times, so she had decided to do the same. She called to her mom and jumped, not even waiting for her mom to look which she didn't even turn her head. She was busy talking to Basil's mom. But Basil watched as she jumped out of the swing from higher than Basil had ever done. At that instant, Basil wished he could do that. But then he saw her land with a thud. There lying on the ground was the little girl. Horrible Hackberry started laughing at the girl and Basil started to laugh too. Did you see that girl? Horrible Hackberry exclaimed. What a dummy. Basil agreed, mostly because he didn't have the guts to jump out of the swing like she did. And just as he was starting to laugh, Good Guava intervened. It's not funny, declared Good Guava. Go help her up. Without another thought, Basil ran over to where the little girl was. He bent down to help her up, asking, are you okay? No answer. Uh-oh, Basil whispered. He had a bad feeling in his stomach. Something's wrong, he thought. Horrible Hackberry screamed at Basil. It's all your fault. Get away from her. Act like you didn't see anything. For some reason, that seemed to make sense to Basil. He didn't make her jump. He didn't even tell her to jump. In fact, he didn't even know the little girl. Basil decided to go play on the slide for a while. But before he could move, Good Guava spoke one word. Pray. What should Basil do? Should he listen to Good Guava and pray for the little girl? Or should he just walk away and pretend he didn't see anything. One day, Jesus was teaching about God's goodness and praying for sick people to be healed. There was a crippled man who couldn't walk, so his friends decided to do something good, thanks to good guava. They carried him to Jesus, but the house was full of people and they couldn't get in. Instead of giving up saying, Oh well, we tried. Sorry we couldn't get in the house to see Jesus. They did another good thing. They carried the crippled man on top of the roof and lowered him down through a hole right in front of Jesus. Because of their faith and goodness to the crippled man, Jesus was able to heal him. He wasn't crippled anymore. He walked out of that house glorifying God. Everything happened so fast for Basil. He could hear himself praying for the little girl as Basil's mom and the girl's mother came running over to see what was wrong. Are you okay, honey? Asked the little girl's mom as she picked her up off the ground. The little girl gasped for air, wiping the sand off of her face and looked right at Basil and she said, I'm okay now. So, the next time you are faced with being good or being horrible, what kind of fruit will you bear? Good guava or horrible hackberry? It's your choice. Bye now.